Hey guys, it's Afir from Nana and Bitcoins. A new tutorial today, this, kind, this time about Bitcoin mining. So I'm going to do a very quick step-to-step -step guide on how you can mine Bitcoins at home. Before you start mining, the first thing you want to do is you want to check if it's even profitable for you to, to mine. Because at today's mining difficulty, usually it won't be profitable. In order to find this out, just uh, Google Bitcoin mining profitability calculator and you go to one of these calculators. Here you have an example from a website called CoinWars. You just uh, choose what you want to mine. In case you're mining Bitcoins, it's SHA-256. You enter your miner specification, how much power it consumes, and uh, how much you're paying for electricity, and you click on Calculate Profitability. Down below, it will show you when are you going to be profitable if ever mining uh, Bitcoins. You can do this also for Litecoin or whatever uh, coin you want to mine as well. Now, uh, keep in mind, if you want to mine at home, you're going to probably need to spend a lot of money on a good miner. Uh, for this example, I'm going to use uh, an actually a pretty old miner, and by old I mean about six months old miner, even a bit, probably even a bit more. Uh, this is the miner I'm going to use. As you can see, this is a Bitcoin miner. It's just a black box, uh, no buttons, nothing attached to it, other than a USB cable connected to my computer and a power outlet here. This is the power outlet. Um, there's also here's an example for a smaller miner. They are, they are both from Butterfly Labs, um, which I think is in is in solvent uh, right at the moment but these were good miners at the time and this one i think is 10 giga hash and this one is 25 giga hash but today we're talking about miners that mine in tera hashes not in giga hashes so uh, after you have your miner uh and you know that you want to start mining the th next thing you want to do is to join a mining pool and there's a lot of criteria you have to check when joining a mining pool they're all listed in the post below so just uh read the post or click on the link if you watch this on youtube and you can see exactly what you need to check out before joining a mining pool. For this example, I'm going to use Bitcoin CZ, uh, also known as Slush's pool. And I also o o o uh, already opened an account here. Um, and this is how my dashboard looks. This is, you see, I, I haven't mound, uh, mined anything yet. And the last thing you want, you're going to need to use is what's called a mining client or mining software. Uh, because this miner, as I said, has no controls on it and has to uh, communicate with your computer somehow, you have to have some sort of program which helps you control the miner from your computer. So that's what's called a mining client or a mining program or mining software. Since I'm on a Mac, I'm going to use a program called uh, Mac Miner. Uh, again, inside a post, there are a lot of uh, other um, examples of, of software you can use. And now it's time to start mining. So the first thing I'm going to do is plug the miner into the power outlet. So I plug it in and As you can hear, it's a bit loud. So you're gonna have to find a place to put your miner which isn't as loud. One second, it got unplugged. Okay, and these miners need to be kept at a cool place. So you have to keep it cool as well in order for it to work better. So now my miner is up and running. I want to, uh, to start mining. So I open my mining client. And as you can see here, it's showing GPU miner and this is now I'm mining and hope probably you'll mine also on what's known as ASIC uh, miners which are application specific integration of computers which are uh, uh, specifically designed to mine bitcoins so I'm going to need to open the, the ASIC dashboard so now as you can see here this is the ASIC miner let me close the GPU miner and I'm going to start mining and basically that's it it's connecting to the pool and it's starting to mine. Now, if you, you don't know, if you want to connect it to your pool after you, you register for the first time, you're going to get a username and a password. So you need to go to the settings here and edit pool settings and actually enter uh, your pool settings here. As you can see, the username and the password, but I already did that. And that's how it connects for, to the pool for the first time. But after that, basically, you can start mining. It's that simple. And if I go and you can see it shows me uh, the capacity of the mining here. It's, Currently around 10 giga hashes. It's probably grow over time because this miner can uh, get up to 25, I, I believe, if I remember correctly. And if I go back to my, uh, as you can see, it, I don't know if you can hear this, but it's be becoming louder and louder. Now you see it's up to 19 giga hash. Uh, if I go back to my account and I refresh this dashboard, as time goes by, it will show me more and more uh, shares that I have here. Shares are uh, which part of the work I've done in order to, to mine the next block. And as you can see right now, I have uh, the score is starting to, to, to build up. And as time progresses, I also have more shares. And if I find a block or the pools find a block, uh, then we'll get a reward um, 
proportional to the, to, to the amount of work that we did, which is kind of uh, could vary through shares. So that's all you need to know. Like you see right now, I'm starting to get shares. Um, that's also basically all you need to know about Bitcoin mining. Let me just turn this off because it's really making a lot of noise. Okay, so hopefully now you can hear me better. Um, that's basically what you need to know about Bitcoin mining. Um, today, at the diff current difficulty, it's not very profitable what to mine at home. You're probably better off buying the Bitcoins than mining them. But if you really want to get into mining, I don't know, because it's your hobby or anything like that, now you know how to do it. Uh, just keep in mind, you probably need to spend a lot of money on a good uh, mining rig. So hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.